we have Josh okay. here. Josh and his brother hey. Noah, together they form Roman Street. So uh, why don't you tell us, Josh, like, first of all, how you started making music? Uh, how did the band start? Like, how, what's the progression of your career? So Noah and I, um, we're brothers, and there's about uh, four years difference between us. I'm the, I'm the younger brother. And so Noah started playing guitar about 16, 16 or so, so I was 12. And uh, he was playing in our church's youth group. Uh, we went to the same church uh, growing up, and he started playing in that band. And uh, I just thought that that was the coolest thing, personally, you know, like him, him doing that. And he obviously, he really took to the instrument and was really good at it. Like he progressed really quickly. And um, and so, yeah, a couple years, I mean, about three three or so years later, I really kind of, kind of started to take an interest. Um, and I was kind of bummed. He took guitar lessons. I never actually took formal lessons, but he had started taking some classical guitar lessons. And then I really wanted to try. So I was kind of bowing off him for a little bit. But then not long at all after I started kind of pursuing the instrument, we met these two guys from Europe, these two uh, guitar players from Switzerland. And they were in a band called Tonic Strings. And they came over to the States and our mother actually booked their tour. Our mom has been has a history, has been doing that for a little while. And she's actually our manager now. But this would have been around 2000 or so. And she booked their tour and they went, uh, started in New York and ended up down where we live now in like the Fairhope, Alabama area. And so Noah and I got to see those guys play and they're still just two of the best musicians I've ever seen. Two of the best guitar players ever. And Noah and I were both just so enamored with it. And I, like I said, I had just started picking up the instrument, but I already kind of knew, you know, that even though I didn't really know to, how to play any, any of my chords or anything that I just knew I kind of wanted to pursue that. And Noah felt the exact same, same way, which is cool kind of rare for two brothers to agree on much of anything, especially something, you know, like that. And so, yeah, so we, we just really, uh, you know, made a friendship with those guys and they were really encouraging of us to learn the instrument and to pursue, pursue it, uh, that genre if that's what we wanted. And uh, they invited us to come over to Switzerland to, to just really just to visit, not even so much about music initially, but we went over there um, on my spring break that year and uh and we really we ended up playing a lot of music with them and they were just so kind and so generous and they they gave us some materials to learn and then for about the next four or five years every once a year Noah and I would go back there and we would practice we would go learn a little bit go home and practice and kind of watch and repeat for about five years and so we did that for a couple of years and then Noah and I decided we wanted to try and make a band we wanted to, this is what we wanted to try and do not necessarily with like career aspirations and necessarily, but we just decided we just want to try and see what happened. And that was about 14 years ago. And here we are. <laughs> right. So you usually play with a band. Um, I assume you, you just, yep. could just play with the two of you and it, it would work fine. Yeah, we do. We actually, Noah and I just did a gig even last night. Um, just the two of us It's probably around half and half or so. We still do a, a lot, which, and then we, we absolutely love playing with the, with the band too. And, and it kind of makes it extra fun for Noah and I to have different incarnations of, of what we do, you know, right. with the two of us. And then we'll have, we have some trio formats and then a full band thing. So yeah, so we kind of all, quite a lot of different uh, formats. So you came here with the quartet. When you do a trio, what's the trio uh, uh, instrumentation? Usually, uh, we do different ones, but usually we'll do with upright. Uh, Jojo, our longtime bass player, plays upright, an upright bass, and we do like an acoustic trio that way. And then sometimes we'll do with our, our drummer, Brian. He'll do like a percussion, more of a percussion heavy setup. And I love that too. And then um, we have an amazing violin, violinist that we've played with for a long time. And sometimes we'll do that as a trio. So just kind of, you know, it kind of depends on, you know, with the people who hire us, sometimes they'll have a strong opinion of what. They want that third instrument to be and so, right. so yeah it's cool so how about this the current situation and things like uh, different people have been dealing with it differently how have you been dealing with the whole you know covid situation and yeah so what we've been doing uh with this is pretty i mean unfortunate timing for absolutely everyone we uh but we just uh a few months ago finished our new album um and we had our release show we had a tour set up and everything and um it was but our release show uh, uh initial show was supposed to be march 11th i believe kind of right during the real onset of this and so that ended up getting canceled and of course everything else and everything else did so we we pretty much as far as that's concerned just we're just going to do a do-over with that whenever hopefully when think some normalcy is reestablished, that we'll be able to have that release show and do the the tour and whatnot but as far as how we have we've adapted, um, same as a lot of other musicians, we saw some of our good friends uh, started doing these online shows, 
first and uh, it seemed to do well for them. They, they have a good, a good crowd and we had never really tried anything like that. So we kind of been trying our hand at that. We, uh, we've been doing that every week for the last three months. We've been doing uh, on our Facebook um, Facebook page. We've been doing an online show, and just setting up to uh, have some tip jar jar links that people can donate if they want. And it's been crazy, man. People have been so generous, and we've had we've had really good turnouts for it. I mean, um, yeah. And so we just turned uh, at my house here. We uh, we just turned the living room into a makeshift stage area. And there's definitely a learning curve trying to get like the webcam and the audio and all that stuff set up. And so we've been learning, we've been learning our best, but, uh, but yeah, we've done like 13 or 14 of these now. And so that's kind of the main thing that, that we've been doing. And uh, I mean, it's been a good thing. And then um, selling our album online. I mean, considering all this is going on, our online sales have been, have been pretty good uh, as considering we haven't been able to play out. So we've been making out okay, but that's kind of been <laughs> what we've been doing. And right. uh, fortunately a lot of our shows, um, hadn't uh didn't get completely canceled more postponed to the end of the year so i'm hoping that you know a few months from now if we're able to really get back to a full schedule that we'll be busy and we'll be really thankful for that so uh i think yeah overall we've been fairly fortunate Noah's here. Hey, ben, uh, hey how are you hey man sorry i'm a few minutes late how are you <laughs> well talk to us a little bit about you know that show like the show itself your experience at timukwa the the audience the response well, man, I mean, that was our first gig in Orlando. We'd never played in Orlando, in Orlando before. And so, you know, New City kind of knew everything for us, and you never really know what to expect. You know, you, we just know we're going to this venue that night, and we're going to go play, and we know, like, kind of broad stroke details, but um, didn't know anything else. And, but, yeah, we pulled up to your place, and I just, you know, at first, you know, I was like, am I in? I didn't know if we were in the right spot, <laughs> the right spot. So I went, I went to the door, and then, like and as soon as we went in i was just so enamored with your place man like it's it's so cool what you what you've created there and i was just walk i remember i just walked around for like 10 minutes just kind of looking at everything in there and, and that staging area that whole room is just so cool and uh yeah i mean like like i said i didn't have really have any expectations uh, necessarily but i was just i was like as soon as we got there i was really thrilled to play the gig and was looking forward to playing it and you have such great patrons who come uh, come to your shows and everyone's just so nice and uh, yeah, it's just such an amazing professional setup you guys have have there. And so uh, yeah, but we we had a wonderful show. Like I I really people seemed to really like it, and there was a really good energy in there, and people were super encouraging. And I can't wait to come back, honestly. Fantastic. Yeah, I completely agree uh, with what Josh said. We um we had never played in Orlando before, so we we had we had no expectations. Um, we neither of us had even been to Orlando in many years, and so we were. We were um, we were just we were just so impressed with the venue and uh, and with your attention to detail with the technicals and um, and one one thought that kept uh, coming through my mind while we were doing our show um, was something that Josh and I's guitar teachers in Europe always talked about was one of their favorite shows that they ever did was with a live artist and that was a completely new concept to me whenever they described this to me and i said wait a second you were you guys were playing music but there was a painter painting something and she was painting off of what she felt you guys play and you guys were playing off of what you saw her paint and etc and i thought that was a very novel concept and then when we got um to, to, to and uh we met the lovely artist there and uh, I, we, we got i got to kind of relive that experience while we were playing uh, to the audience there and I thought that was very very cool and yeah like Josh said the energy was great the crowd was very into it and very complimentary uh, we even we even went with several of the attendees to uh, a place just down the street to go and hang out a little bit afterwards even after everybody left just because the that's just a testament to how cool the people were and how inviting they were and um, our bass player Jojo still talks about that show how much he enjoyed the room and enjoyed the sound and the groove and everything so it was a really good first star start to our um our south florida run at the beginning of the year and uh, with all the crazy stuff that's gone on this year i look back on that that first two months of our year even more fondly now you know running down to south florida and playing those shows with you guys um very good memories for me excellent excellent so everybody uh, who's watching uh, you can expect to see that show there's going to be an event bright for people to sign up uh, to get the link to see the show. So it's going to be a little bit, uh, we, we hope to drive donations a little bit more so that you guys can, uh, you know, have something to eat for a week or something. There we go. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Most appreciated. Friday night at 7.30 is the time. 
and then the, it's still a mystery as to the link is, but you know, by the time I post this interview, the link will be on the description and stuff. So people can, can watch it and enjoy the show. So. Awesome. Sweet. Well, thanks, yeah, man. Well, we appreciate Thank it. It was a great idea. Thank you so much. And uh, so uh, I can't wait to see you guys again. Just keep doing what you're doing and uh, tell, you know, tell the folks what you're, how, where to reach you on your Facebook page. Facebook page is always a good way to reach us. Um, I, we, Josh and I check that pretty regularly and we, uh, we actually manage that ourselves. We, we had somebody that was looking after it for a little while, but we took that back over a few years ago. So you can reach us, Josh and I directly there. Uh, we also have an Instagram that we check very regularly. And then of course our homepage, romanstreet.com. Okay. So, and it's, it's always, at, so it's Roman street at, uh, on Facebook as well. on Instagram. It's Roman street band. Okay. Roman street, Roman band. street band. Yeah. Okay, so everybody you guys know, so go check it out, Facebook, Instagram, on the, on the website, and then uh, figure out what, uh, what they're doing, and don't miss it. It's really cool. Appreciate you guys. Awesome. Hey, thank y'all. Have a great night. Bye-bye. You too. Good night. Hey, man. Thank you.